Hello and welcome to another video of Archons Only, where we try to beat Genshin Impact using only Archon characters. So we're still trying to upgrade our Archons and I just remember that not only we need to level up our um, level and then our talents, but also we can upgrade our weapons until level 90. And that means that not only we need to grind for um, the characters and the talents, we actually need to grind for the, the weapons. I don't know if I'm going to be able to ascend any of them <laughs> anytime soon, but it's something else I need to pay attention to. For example, um, I can farm for um, bosses or boss enemies anytime that I want, but uh, the materials required for the weapons, for example, are dependent on the domains and are dependent on when they're open. So then that's another thing I need to pay attention to actually see if I can upgrade them or not. Um, the other thing that I, I can check is, is uh, or what I'm doing right now is basically trying to check if I can craft some of the materials that we need, especially because we can get some of them from different events and it's been a while since I was able to upgrade them to a higher level. So maybe I was able to get them um, at some point and they're <laughs> collecting dust in my inventory. So let's see if we can at least level up one of the weapons. If not, I might need to start um, planning when I'm going to do um, the different runs and when I'm going to actually <laughs> get something that I can use. Um, I know that I was building different weapons uh, before. Um, I have different bows built for Venti. I don't know which one I should use by this moment. I'm really surprised that I don't have any 5-star weapons. I have... I don't know how many 5-star characters I have? I got twice Dea, so imagine that, and I haven't get, got a single 5-star um, weapon, so it means it's, it's, it's improbable that this happens. So I, I hope I can get one, and I hope it's not a <laughs> Claymore, <laughs> because I actually cannot use Claymores at all. There is no uh, Archon that can use a Claymore yet. I hope it's going to be the Pyro Archon. It should be the Pyro Archon. But we'll see if we get any Pyro Archon in the end or not. Um, there are some crazy ideas where they say, because it's the, the topic is Resurrection, that they actually the Pyro Archon is already dead, and I don't know what they're trying to do with the Gnosis. Um, so we will see what happens. I hope we can get a Pyro Archon. I actually need one. Um, I need Pyro in my team. Although Bent is doing fantastic, and um, you can swirl uh, Pyro. It's always good to actually have it, and, and makes our lives our life simple, <laughs> once for once for for all. So let's see. Yeah. Okay, we can upgrade the the pipe. Although I hate the pipe because it's awful. I know it's really good for Forina, and <laughs> the the next time when Forina reruns, I'm going to try to get the weapon. I'm not going to lie. I actually hate that weapon. I, I, it looks terrible on her. Everything is blue and then you get the pipe. <laughs> so I actually want to get her um, signature weapon. I think that's going to look amazing on her. It's going to be better for her than the actual pipe. And let's see what we can get with that. And the other thing that I remember is that because we we're able to um, ascend or le reach level 50 um, or 45, I don't remember, um, we can now do this uh, ascension domain. <laughs> actually, trying to, to, and it's going to make our life easier because we can actually get more drops from different enemies. So then, uh, all the farming I was doing for the last video, for example, we can actually have done it better with double drops or even better drops than we got before. And especially, I'm really curve. I'm really interested in getting better drops for um, the the. Um, the Samurais that Radiant Shogun needs because their drops rates are really, really bad. I don't know if that's on purpose or not, but I don't know why they, they have these different um, drop rates depending on the on the enemies. The Treasure Hoarders are like crazy. Oh my god, this broke again. Wow. <laughs> Do you remember we having that before? I wonder why does it look like that? It's a combination of maybe Furina and Ventis Ultimate. Um... But it looked really weird. I haven't noticed when I was playing it, so um, it's really good that <laughs> I can notice this when I'm editing the videos. Um, so I think this enemy was not there before. Maybe I'm wrong or not. I don't remember having to face this enemy. It's kind of like strong, I have to say. So it's tanking a lot of damage. Um, I think this is going to be the hardest. 
ascension domain that we had before. We got a wish and a lot of primogens. That's really great for us. And we can actually get more. <laughs> yeah, it was like ascension uh, level 50. So then the next one is going to be a 55. I don't know what they're going to give us then. So we can try to use those wishes and see what do we get. Uh, again, a blue. Come on, I want a five star. Five star weapon. I don't want any more five star characters from the standard banner. Um, because we cannot use them. Um, so in the end it was like hope, hopeless. And um, I'm here trying to farm some things for um, the catch. I actually think that if we create that weapon that would be great for Raiden Shogun and that's something that would potentially make her like, really strong, especially now that we are R5, <laughs> our catch. So then um, having the max level that would be that at least we could have more DPS potential um, because it's going to give her at least more energy recharge and that's going to convert into damage. I really wonder if we can actually get more drops after we level up our, our intro, um rank. So um, I know that has to do with enemies, but does it also affect domains? I, I think I never thought about that before. Probably the answer is on Google <laughs> or someone knows it. So if you know the answer, please leave it in the comments. It's always helpful for me or for whoever <laughs> who else want to know about this kind of thing. Um, but we can pay attention here to see if we can get something. If we get a gold, it means like at least we got an um, a better drop. If not, then it's all a hoax. And as expected, it's all a hoax. <laughs> so we got a little bit more wishes in here. I don't know if I'm going to use them right now. Um, two wishes. Let's see, another blue. At least a purple, come on. No, another blue. Okay, let's keep trying that. <laughs> and again, I think we're really close to actually level up Furina. So um, this means like this is going to be the latest uh, run. So we actually upgraded her weapon to max level. I think it's the first weapon that we upgraded to level 90. And then if we ascend her, then she's going to be, I, I would say, complete. No, we ascended her before. So if we can, uh, no, this ascension, yes. So if we can ascend her um, and then level her up, uh, then uh, it means that it's going to be the the first uh, Archon to get her um, stats to the maximum level. Then, of course, we need to pay attention to her talent, and that's going to take a lot of time, but um, <laughs> at least we can we can do this. And um, especially with the talents, the only problem is like we need to get the, the weekly drop, bosses drops. And that's going to take one per week. And again, like I'm not really lucky with these ones. <laughs> I've been looking for flowers for Raiden Shogun and I'm not getting flowers at all. So um, the same with Venti. I, need, <laughs> I think I need the feathers and I'm getting everything but the feathers. And we don't have uh, many um, of these um, solvents to actually change them. So in the end, it's like struggling <laughs> everything. So. I don't know if they do it on purpose, so you can actually take more time to level them up and then you have to invest more resting into them or not, but um, I don't think it's uh, really easy to get them and it's taken me like a really, really long time to 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 get the materials I need. But I think it's part of the fun, so at least we need to do things weeks to weeks to actually level them up and not um, reach them to the maximum potential and then like do nothing for a really long time. So something I've been thinking during these days is uh, if I should start a new challenge. I actually have some ideas of what I want to do. I don't know how that would work. I need to really figure it out. So um, I don't know. If I'm bored, <laughs> maybe we'll start a new challenge. And you will see it, I think, in this account. I don't know. Let's, let's, let's think about it. But um, we will see. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to be fun, um, but at least I learned some things from these uh, challenges and maybe I should do other things. <laughs> um, or maybe do better, like um, like maybe an improvement from these channels, I don't know. So yeah, finally we got um, Furina to level 90, that's great. Or So everything is perfect and now we can move to another um, Archon. In this case, I think I'm going to go with Nahida because I think I have most of the things for her. Um, I think I've been farming fungi. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I've been farming um, fungi, and especially using the the some of the um, um, ley lines and exploring Sumeru and these kind of things. And um, so, 
at least that's something. It's going really uh, fast, I was I have to say. Um, I know it has this weird invincibility part where you're going to do damage to it. But we were able to remove a huge chunk of <laughs> health. So um, at least it's something that um, it's working. Um, again, um, it's going to take a while because they have like different stages. And then we need to use Dendro to, to cleanse it and all the different things. But um, if you compare this, I should do this side by side. Like if you compare the damage output that we have right now when we damage output when we start actually doing it. Uh, um, I think Raiden Shot, not even Raiden Shot and not even um, Nahida were built. I think you can tell that we, we, we improve a little bit. Um, maybe a lot. <laughs> um, so I might need to try to do um, the Abyss anytime soon, I think. Maybe when I get them all to level 90 would be a great idea because then all of them would be boosted. So um, yeah, I think in the future at least I hope there is a a video of the Abyss coming soon. I don't know when. Don't 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 take my words for granted. But um, I think it's something that we should start doing more often. Um, not only to get in Prima Gems, but also to to actually test um, our abilities. And then the other thing that we um, we need to test is to try different teams, try different artifacts. Um, different sets and see what works for us. Especially now that we uh, have four Archons, there is only one left, I strongly, and then uh, the future one. <laughs> and I don't know when Shang is going to rerun, so maybe this will be our team for a really, really long time. Who knows that? Um, so we will see. So then, um, again, I'm trying to explore different things and try to get more chests, more wishes, more everything. And um, this is one of the domains I was thinking. Um, I didn't remember how it works, I, know I, lo I lost a lot of time in these kind of things. I know they need Electro, I don't know if it's, um, if we need uh, Radiant Shogun to, to activate them or it's only to play some um, in a certain order, I don't know if there is any um, kind of uh, uh, order that we need to follow when we activate them or it should be like in a um, short time. So we will see if we can do it actually. Um, the bad thing about Radiant Shogun is that we can also use uh, consecutively um, a lot of electro we can actually do it um with a skill one time then we can do ultimate to have a little bit more time of doing that electro damage and then we can do the skill again and i think that would be our limit um so i hope there are not so many and i hope um we <laughs> need to do them in certain order and in certain time so we will see basically so um that was the skill here's the ultimate and so there are four of them that's, that's kind of great so then, if we need to use our skill here, yes, that's it. Oh no, so there is an order. Oh no, what's the order? Wait, one of them got got activated and the other ones didn't. What happened there? Um, so now we don't have our ultimate. So we probably need to recharge that if we actually want to get it again. Um, so what's, what's the, the order of them? I don't know if there's any way to know it. It's just by chance. It's just like randomly or, or there's actually an order. Um, we will see. We can try different things and see if they stay on or they turn off. Um, sometimes like there is no really explanation of why they work and why they don't. Um, there were some uh, pyro ones that you need to turn them on in order and there was nothing telling you. For example, when we did the ones in the um, on Dragon Spine, we actually have a silly showing us the way. Um, but in here, I don't think we have that. Um, should be the ones that um, are, I don't know, one um, across the other. Is them fooling a circle? I don't know. We will see. This is our second chance. Okay, so maybe it's like consecutive ones. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe there's something that I missed that I have to pay attention to. I don't know. But it worked. At least we're able to activate it. We're able to, to I think, unlock this domain. Let's just check. And um, see <laughs> what else we can do. So, um, something that it really reminds me is when we try to do... Um, when we try to test the fall damage with uh, our characters. Especially that there's like, water in here. Um, I wonder if I should test Furina or not. Um, I don't want to die. <laughs> so maybe um, we can actually test if Furina can walk in the water. Yes, but we cannot go under there. So I thought I was going to um, avoid um, having to use my stamina to actually swim. 
I hope we can reach the place. Um, I don't know where the exit is, but uh, at least we can we can try. Um, we have stamina food, so if we need to refill it at least one time. And um, yeah, let's see if we can actually do it, or if we need other things. Okay, we can climb in here. And we can recover some health. Okay, there is a door in here. Um, enemies? I don't know what I need to do, basically. Is, do we need to activate another switch? Do we have to open any other trap? Um, does this have to do with anything of the domains? Um, or is like random things that happen <laughs> in the background? I don't know. We actually need to level down. Yeah, we, we need to level down the, the water in order to be able to access the, the the domain. So it makes sense that we are here. But see, we cannot go here, so I don't know what's happening. Hmm. Let's see if we're actually in the right um, tracks, and let's see if we can actually this lead us to anything. We're going to places that I think I was never here. Um. No, this is where I climbed, so I was here before. Um, did I miss any room? Let's see. I don't think so. This is where you go down. Can I go up? Oh, I can go up. Okay, maybe this is the way that we need to go. <laughs> um, I don't know if we need that right now. I know we need to solve a puzzle outside and that's um, giving me a lot of headache. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it at some point. Um, or what's the point of it? Okay, this is the last switch. Perfect, so we're able to unlock that domain. That's great. I don't think I right, really need it, but um, that means that we have more Prime Gems, I guess. Um, let's see if we can... if it's something we can get or not. Just to get Prime Gems. Okay, we can leave that for later. And uh, the other thing I was able to do is I was able to collect um, all the boss drops for Nahida. So that's great. So today we're able to upgrade two more Archons. Um, so there is only one that's going to be missing. I think that's going to be Raiden Shogun. Um, so at least we have Nahida and we got um, Benti last time. And um, to this um, episode we got also Furina. So it means like three out of our four um, Archons are to max level. So that's great. Then we need to do the weapons. Then we need to do the talents. Um, but at least uh, it's getting better. And also the artifacts. I think Nahida's artifacts are not even max level up. I don't think they're even in, in the right set or in the right stats. So that's something I actually need to start farming again. But I think leveling them up is better than actually. See, we have a four star piece there. Um, but having them at level 90, I think is better than uh, farming artifacts. A way, what better way to spend our resin? Um, because at least we are guaranteed to get like a boost in, in damage. Although people say like you should not level them to level 90 because it's a, it's a scam and everything like that. Um, I actually think that um, we should because we only have <laughs> four characters and there are only five Archons in total. So we should use our all um, our all, um, materials to actually, or resources to actually level them up. Um, and that's something that we can actually think on, um, for example, leveling all the talents up. Um, once we feel the ones are priorities, then we can start like filling the other ones to get like all of them to 10, 10, 10. That would be really fun to do, <laughs> especially uh, for, for example, some of the characters that they don't need their base attacks that to have them at a level 10. That would be fun. Um, they might be doing more damage. I don't know. Maybe they can be future DPS. Who knows? The meta is changing a lot, and especially after Fontaine. I don't know what um, the new Natlan. Um, region is going to bring us, so that would be fun to see. Maybe we can repurpose some of our Archons to other things. So, um, yeah. The other thing I was thinking is that all of the Archons are support. So I, I was complaining before that there is no main DPS Archon, rather than, for example, Raiden Shogun. Um, but um, not a real, real main DPS, like damage, um, attack, physical damage, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is, although I think that these days nothing is like that. But um, I think that um, there is a reason for that um, because like Archons could be useful and uh, what's more useful than like something that boosts your other characters. So it gives you more flexibility. So then maybe that's a reason why uh, Henshin Impact did it this way. So we still have to do some rounds for Raiden Shogun and we are breathing gold 
so that means that we need to farm that too. But I think this is going to be the end of the video, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and share if you really like it, and i see you in the next one. Bye-bye!